Zine make him scream. Let's go. Yo, 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 what it do is your boy with your kid, honey. Y'all not watching all the Zine TV. Okay, so um, like, tell everybody where you from. I'm from Hull, originally, Woodmill, Louisiana. Okay, so growing up in Hull, matter of fact, Woodmill, just say Woodmill, people know what Woodmill is, now. <laughs> like, you know? Fact. Hey, but tell them how it was, I'm like, for yourself growing up back then. I mean, it was really about sports when I was growing up, but shit changed as you get older, you know? Niggas start venturing all the different stuff. I started picking up the pad, even though I've been writing and shit, but I started making music even more, you know. Okay, so you know, like, you know, I want you to say, I want you to explain, I'm like, what mill? I'm gonna like, tell someone, and we've probably never been there. Like, I want you to explain, I'm like, how did it actually go down back there? Like, you know, everybody never been to what mill, you know, like, never seen it, never been to it, don't even know how to get to it. So I want you to explain. I mean, the name itself is, is Woodmill, you hear me? It's, it's Woody. You got Boogle Woods back there, you feel me? Um, it's treacherous. Don't trust everybody. For, um, stick to yourself and do what you know. Okay, so for yourself growing up, I'm like, who influenced you? I'm to actually, I'm gonna start making music. To make music? I say I grew up just thinking about just just listening to different people like different genres, but I say like my biggest influence is probably Pac for sure, Pac and Wayne. Okay, hey, so tell the world how did you actually come up on like, with your rap name? My rap name, well, OG stands for Original Gangster, but I just wanted to put OG for Original and. K, as you know, that's short for Kenneth, K. And 100, I keep it 100, you feel me? So yeah, that's the name, OGK 100. Okay. Oh, so what's the average day like for you? Average day? If I ain't working, cause fuck, I ain't pop with the, with the rap and shit yet, you hear me? But if I ain't working nine to five, see, I'm making music, bro. In the studio. Okay. Also, oh, do you have, so, so do you have any brand new projects coming up? What you say? Hey, do, you have, do you have any um, like brand new um, like projects coming out? Before well, yeah, music? yeah, I got a new um song called Coca. It's about to drop. I got another song. You feel me? I ain't gonna give y'all too much, but just know I got that song Coca, y'all. Just stay stay tuned for that one. You feel me? It's gonna be some hot shit. I got a video driving with that. Okay. Uh, do you have any features on that? On a, any features? Not at the moment. Not at the moment. I ain't really looking for features right now. Okay, so tell the world, I'm like, what separates you, I'm like, from other artists? What separates me from other artists is, I feel as though I'm more, I ain't gonna say realer, but I put more um, emotion into my music, you feel me? I can say that for sure, I put a lot of emotion in my music. I don't know about other people, but I put emotion in my music. You know, speaking on that, you know, tell us, I'm like, what's your favorite song? I'm like, that you ever released so far? And I'm um, also, I'm like, tell us why. My favorite song I released so far, gotta be Man of the Year. Y'all can search that up on YouTube, Apple Music, SoundCloud, anywhere, you feel me? And it's Man of the Year because I feel like, in that song, you feel me? Like, you can hear the pain in my voice, but it ain't even really about the pain, it's really more so, like, like the grind and the hustle, like, you know, like, it's just, it's, it, it was so much, you feel me? I put it all on the track. Okay. Um, so being from the West Bank, I want you to explain, I'm like, what's the difference from the West Bank and the East Bank? One thing I can see the difference is females, for sure. <laughs> and, who <laughs> had a bad, <laughs> and who had a bad of females? <laughs> Who got the bad of female? You gonna hit it out your mouth? <laughs> Yo, hit me for that one. Man, I'm gonna say the West Bank for sure, you hear me? West Bank got the baddest thing. That's what's going on with the East Bank. The East Bank, they got, 
But they driving too much, you feel me? They ain't, they ain't loyal. The West Bank, they loyal. Oh, so East Bank girl broke your heart. Damn. That's where we come, that's where we get to. They all around, man. They all around, you know? <laughs> You fell in love with one, huh? What? If you got yourself, it got yourself one on the true love of it. But that was so much love said, huh? <laughs> East girl, East Bank girls ain't shit, huh? Man, dude, I can't fuck with them. You can't, you can't, you can't see all of them. I mean, for the ones that I didn't meet. Yeah, but you met more loyal ones on the West Bank. On the West Bank, fact. <laughs> and so West Bank is the loyal hoes. That was a loyal you. If we want a loyal woman, go to the West Bank. Go to the West Side, yeah. Right? <laughs> hey, but that's one for them, huh? Nice. <laughs> well, speaking on this, since you know, since you've been hurt before by East Bank girl, have you ever been catfish before? Man, I ain't gonna lie. I've been catfish this one time, son, in middle school. I ain't gonna even lie. You started early. It was in middle school, son. That's when um we had kick and shit, like the little app kick. We had that. That was we texting off kick and shit. So on that app, you really could put your face as anything. You feel like a Facebook or Instagram. So I'm thinking it was a real chick, man. I'm looking at my phone and everybody telling me, dude, in the classroom, gay. So I'm oh, thinking, you just got cameras for real. Yeah, so I'm thinking, yeah, I'm thinking, dude, yeah, I'm fucking with that, yeah, man, with the jumping up and everything. I'm looking over dude's shoulder. I'm like, say, son, like this, you? That boy just looking at me. He hiding his phone, so I'm no. I'm about to rock him, yeah. I'm about to, I'm about to clean rock. Him. But that's a bad situation. Cause if you rock him, they gonna think you fuck him. And if you fight him, you win. You, that's a lose, it's a lose, lose. That's a lose, lose situation. I'm gonna get you going. Like, like, guess what? You, you rock him. You gotta think about it. He take dick. He can fight you. <laughs> he ain't worried about that. He can take a lick. He ain't worried about a lick. Can you take the licks? He's swinging. He's swinging wild for ones. For yeah, he he ain't coming with the record. He ain't coming with the fight. You think he about to fight? For real, for real. He got dread. He grabbing that. <laughs> I gotta catch your mouth out here. We gotta, we gotta park a lot. <laughs> okay, I ain't gonna get on. Well, we just go. We'll get on a more positive thing about females. <laughs> if you could date any female in, a, in an entertainment industry, who would it be? And don't tell us why. Any female I date in the entertainment industry. Um, I had my eyes set on Rihanna, but you know, he said Rocket and knocked up. You know hear I me? Mean? I ain't about nothing. It could always go double back. I could double back though. But I, I say Rihanna and um, China and McLean. Hey, I don't know who that is, but it sounds sexy. Hey, anybody in my generation? <laughs> hey, I don't know who that is. That name sounds sexy. I know. That name sounds sexy. She a Disney Channel uh, actor. Oh, you grew up with her, so you feel like you know, you know her. Most <laughs> <laughs> definitely. Well, like when I when I speak on when I spoke on you. Doubling back on Rihanna, anything's possible. Cause Lil Wayne showed it. Lil Wayne said, <laughs> Lil Wayne said, go ask Miss Lee, she with my daddy. What? Birdman stole Kamara Lee from Russell. So anything's possible. Anything's and she got possible. kids, any gave up in it. So anything's possible. Thanks, most definitely. Anything's possible. So with that being said, just a whole New Orleans situation. Like, do you feel like other music artists in New Orleans actually um, actually um, support each other? In New Orleans? Yeah. I see the ones that ain't popping support each other, but the ones that be popping and shit, they don't really be reaching out. But I get it because, I mean, you ain't got your foot in the door. And if you do fuck, it's only right you should reach out. But I ain't that type of nigga to look for a handout. So I just feel as though, like, the support system in New Orleans is trash. Well, all right. Well, speaking of the whole entire New Orleans music scene, who you think actually makes, like, better music right now? The West Bank or the East Bank? Locally? Locally. Because um, that's what you, 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 you got to say locally because, you know, they have no money. You can't say. Right, right. You know, that's, 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 that's all I see. I'm talking about like right now, as you see it, New Orleans music scene right now, who have the better overall music artists? Right now, it got to be Nino. For sure, Nino Kelly. Talking about just that artist, okay. So you're saying the East Bay got better artists as, as right, right now at the moment. I just feel like the West Bank is slept on, for sure, for sure. We slept on, but I feel like the East Bank, you know, they they. they but the crazy part right is about just the whole West Bank. If the, if, if one West Bank artist get it, 
You just got to take over the West Bank in, 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 in like all the outskirts. New Orleans going to jump on you after. All right. New Orleans is a, New Orleans, the city of a whole, is a wave ride. For um, the power, okay. and that's what they ride. It's a city. That's what every city do. Right. They, they ride the wave. But if you realize what you really can do, if you can just take over the West Bank all the way to a fucking boutique somewhere, <laughs> you ain't going to need them. Right. You start getting show money. Right. What's that? Well, everybody see, like, the West Bank problem is, they, they, their mindset is too busy trying to get popping in New Orleans. Thanks. You don't have to get popping in New Orleans. New Orleans is just trying to get popping. Right. That's fact. You know, so like you gotta like move. You gotta you, you gotta move very. I'm like strategic. You gotta move different. That's just my advice to artists, but you know everybody will try it anyway. Shit, that's jewels though, for real. Man. So like, as far as being a music artist, do you how how important you think it is to actually I'm like market your music because there's so many artists that actually actually go to the studio, record a song, shoot a music video, <laughs> and just post that and, and just post it for their friends. I feel like marketing is very important because that's how you really like signature out your name. Like people, like if you shoot videos and shit, yeah, you, and then it's like the revenue too. Like how you gonna get your money? YouTube, that shit, yeah, but you won't earn streams. Like if your shit get the pop and you want that money to come back. You feel what I'm saying? So I feel like marketing is important. You can't just be putting your shit out there. Matter of fact, speaking on the West Bank, I just gotta throw this in there right now. You the first artist to actually well, if the educate N word on Nola Z. Yeah. If a shout out B Savage. You know. I just had to throw that in there, like, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 We cool. really had educated, you feel me? And slept on for sure, for sure. It's yeah. like, alright. It's like even you know, we're gonna pre fall like if B Savage. B Savage didn't come to he didn't he didn't come to, you know, this side trying to be like he from over here. He still held the West Bank down. Right. So like that's what I would speak on, like you don't Actually, need them. You just gotta do your own thing. Get them. To and like with them. artists, like like even for artists, follow B Savage Plef, like the way he did it. You kind of do the same thing. Right. You just gotta do it your way. Your way, right, right. Most like definitely. everybody's unique. But see, that, oh, nigga, bro, you call him. Um, <laughs> you know it's raw, right? I'm hey, you know. it's raw. <laughs> yeah. right, well, uh, with that being said, do you feel like in New Orleans? Do you feel like local DJs, radio stations, and blogs, do you feel like um, they can do a better job at like breaking all this music? Oh yeah, most definitely. Most definitely, bro. I feel like the radio stations and shit, I feel like, man, y'all got to step it up, bro. Like Q93, all y'all, you feel me? Y'all too big to not, you feel me, support y'all locals, you feel me? We the ones who actually making the city popping, if you think about it, because we playing everything. So it's only right y'all give us a chance to be in that spot, like that's how I feel. So, do you feel like you have to move I'm like, out of Louisiana? I'm like, what's your music career? I'm like, what's your service? I'm like, milestone? Most definitely. I feel like you have to, I ain't gonna say move out the whole state of Louisiana, but you gotta move from wherever you're from. You guys to go. Because the people that you grew up with ain't gonna, when you get that money, bro, and they see that money and shit like that, bro, that's life changes, bro. So, you gotta move strategic. You gotta be smart and, you feel what I'm saying? Think for other people around you. Well, speaking on that situation, you know, it's, it was so many rappers that they killed their own city. Yeah, but how do you feel about that? Like, do you feel like you have to move a certain way if once you actually grow on buzz? Most definitely. I feel like you definitely got to move a certain way because if you don't, your position can easily be taken. You feel me? Okay, so being in the music industry for a while now, do you feel like, why do you actually do you feel like being in the music industry for a while now? What do you enjoy most about it? What do you actually hate about it? I, I enjoy making music just period. Like I like the reaction of people. Like, you know, whenever they hear my music and shit, I like to turn the crowd crowd up. I like to give different vibes. The thing I don't like is that I can't touch everybody. <laughs> That's what I don't like. You know? I can't touch everybody with my music. Well, it's never, it's no way possible you can touch everybody. Right. It's like, it's like, it's like, artists like Drake. He's still trying to, like, it's like Drake fighting for something totally different. Like, he's trying to fight for actually, actually having people call him a rapper. He's like telling him, I'm a music artist. I jump in different genres. Right. So, like, it's never you're going to touch everybody. You're not going to touch country. You're not going to touch rock. Right. You're not going to touch certain genres. So, it's like, you never going to catch everybody. everybody. And also, even if you rap, you never catch everybody. So, it's just, you just got to find, you got to become like more of a, 
it, 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 once people realize everything is becoming like currency, they'll kind of get it. Like currency has a coat following. They follow him where he do, right. where he go, what he sell. You people need to learn how to find a way like cater to your fans and build off that. What's up? That just you know that's the best I can tell people. That's free game. You remember free game. So, how well do you take on like constructive criticism? Yeah, <laughs> I take constructive criticism good because everybody got their own opinion. Okay. Leave it at that. So, have you ever dealt with someone that can tell you in your face I mean, that your music is trash? I mean, it's, it ain't what you say, it's how you say it. All right. So, if somebody told you that, man, that music is trash, you got how you, how you gonna take it? Got your own opinion. You feel me? Right. You know, every, like, in the world, we have this attitude like we feel played for anything. So, it's like, <laughs> the problem. I mean, yeah, like, you can't tell nobody, like, <laughs> but you're a rapper. Right. You got it. We right there, like, it hey, come with the game, you feel me? It come with the game. But we don't get that. <laughs> we don't get that. <laughs> don't. We don't get that. It makes it, are you, your mind, the first thing you see, you have a whole fight with Britain. You're like, <laughs> man, he was hating on me. Whole time he's telling you how you feel, you're looking at trash. <laughs> That's just how it is. But you is. think he, he just a hater. He tell right. you that. Step it up and do something better. A man telling you what it is. But how many people you, 90% of the audience ain't gonna take that. Right. It don't matter what side, West Bank, East Bank, even be killer, whatever, they not, they not taking it. Most and up. And it's a bad, it's a bad shame. Yeah, I don't like that. I don't, <laughs> that. I don't like that at all. You know? <laughs> but everybody, you know, you got your own opinion. You know? So, has there been a point in your music career on that when you just wanted to give up? Yeah, there's been a lot of points that I just wanted to give up, but I know a lot of people depending on me. So I know if I me, I gotta, you know, I, I gotta change to feed a lot of people and bless a lot of people, so right. that will keep me going. The problem with music artists, and not all of artists don't get it, like, music is very expensive, but a lot of artists go about it the wrong way. Like, artists in New Orleans think you need a manager first. You need a fucking PR. A PR helps you get your career to different stages and places. Like you don't need a manager until you have something to manage. Exactly. Because there's like so many artists that just we like like New Orleans we kind of like lack of resources because our labels left. So it's like wrong. Because of the knowledge too. Like ain't nobody telling us you know nigga gotta get right. out of the world. Name your top five greatest music artists of all time, and also tell us why. All right, top five. I go pop for sure, Wayne, Eminem, Michael Jackson, and I had to think on that last one. I go with last one, mm, new generation, Uzi probably, Uzi for sure, cause he he spontaneous, he different. Bring a different vibe every time. Okay. So, I'm like three years from now, I'm the least your music career gone. Hopefully. In three years, I still be alive, you feel me? But, yeah, that's a fucked up thing to even think about, though, but you gotta think like that. Got to. Shit, I got like three friends that I keep <laughs> week. Ooh. Shit fucked up down here. You gotta know how to move. Real. Three years, I just hope you're. I get to touching people ears, you feel what I'm saying? I get to touching people ears and they start really vibing to my music and I create a fan base. That's really what I want. Okay. So hey, so what's your advice up to one on a younger artist that's trying to follow on in your footsteps? My advice to you right now, I say just block out everybody else, you feel me, and focus on one goal that you want to achieve, you feel what I'm saying? Once you made that goal, then you said the next one. Okay. Oh, so what's next for you? Like, do you plan on starting your own label, dropping merch, or having bigger features? Move that up. Move I got my own label, you feel me? Copyrighted and everything, so you can't steal, like, feel me? But I ain't gonna start signing people or nothing until I, you know, get my foot in the door. And then, of course, I'm gonna come back down and reach out. And, you know, that's me. But I feel like right now I'm trying to get my foot in the door right now, I'm trying to get set. Okay. And also, last but not least, tell everybody, I'm like, what can they find you at on social media and just other music platforms? Y'all can find me everywhere except for Instagram as OGK Honey. O G K A Y Y H U N N I T. 
On Instagram, you can find me at 1K, honey. 1K, A Y Y H U N N I T. Yeah, I'm on Apple, YouTube, SoundCloud, any platform. Just search me up. Pandora, whatever. All right, we done. Okay. Yeah. Let's see, make them scream. N O L A Z I N E. Make them S C R E A M. Scream. Nola Z, make them scream. You heard me.